What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Alune, ladies and gentlemen. Now it has been a long time coming since we last visited this title back in beta nearly a year ago. So this game has just been cooking in the oven, chilling in the beta kitchen for nearly a year. But you, you guys smell that? It smells like the game is done. Global launch just hit yesterday. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. So let's go ahead and start this video off as we always do because it's a hero club collector ladies and gentlemen so you know what that means you collect heroes fg exactly but what happens if collecting those heroes isn't any fun game's not fun once again correct but before we get started can we get some like some nose emojis in the comment section below some or something like just be creative because i have lost my mind this morning but you know what we're keeping it in the video let's keep going starting from the top here is the roster that i have unlocked thus far five star a legendary freya um if you're looking for a top tier healer this is the girl that you want to go for got an aoe beast right here with a slingshot and some bomb bombs kang rim who i love the design of this character cannot wait to show you the ultimate we got bootleg princess mononoke here and as you guys can see the background kind of shows what type of rarity they, a rarity they are um she's epic as you guys can see go here orange legendary pretty easy to see um of course when it comes down to like rare characters the designs are not that intricate but they still look pretty good um, also have bootleg Sasuke Uchiha here as well. Now this game is obviously going to draw comparisons to Overhit because the games are quite similar. But I must say, when it comes to a hero aspect, clearly Overhit looks better from a technical aspect. But the heroes in this game, in my opinion, just have a lot more character, a lot more personality, a lot more colorful, diverse. So clearly, when it comes to the hero collector stamp of approval, this game gets it over Overhit. Even though I did kind of enjoy some of the characters in Overhit, even in the very beginning i was like you know what a lot of these characters just look like just generic unreal store asset models this game does not have that problem whatsoever so here are a few more and as you guys can see clearly some of the just rare characters aren't as intricate as the uh, top tier characters but even then they still look actually pretty good um, and I'm quite sure you're going to be able to find someone that you can relate to, ladies and gentlemen. So here are the characters, and now let's go ahead and see them. Look at this. Even the two-star character right here, just, look, just a basic wolf character right here, still looks really, really good. Look at these greens. Look at this green. <laughs> so pretty cool character, even bootleg Voltron characters. Everything's bootleg according to FG. Exactly. So let's go ahead and jump over into combat, ladies and gentlemen. Going to go ahead and click on adventure mode. Now, adventure mode... Pretty much functions like most hero collectors. You have uh, two different difficulties here. You have normal as well as hard. You're going to go node by node by node, three star in each one as you move along. Um, three star is basic, clear the stage, all members must survive, and clear within 40 turns. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Now you guys know how I am when it comes to autoplay and manual gameplay. I don't ever turn on... I don't ever turn off autoplay until the game actually gives me a reason to do so. And I can tell you guys right now, early on, right around chapter three and four, the game will give you a reason to turn off autoplay in order to nail those three star achievements because the, the AI is gonna get at least one of your characters killed. So using the manual gameplay in this game is integral to setting up combos and making sure that you can get those three star achievements. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you guys can see, the 3D backgrounds, in my opinion, are very alive. This is not the same 3d background for all the biome stages in this area so for example as you kind of go through let's say a forest stage as you're kind of going through the nodes the forests don't look the same on every single node if that makes sense so once again here i'm kind of like on an airship stage not all of the airship stages look alike so there's a lot of variety in the 3d backgrounds and the biomes which i definitely appreciate so what's the combat like fg good question here we go so this game uses a universal resource system called Soul Gems right here. As you guys can see, I have five out of 16. Um, basically, you have to have at least enough Soul Gems in order to activate the abilities over here. Zero for your basic attack, four for this character's number two, and six for this character's ultimate. And of course, that varies depending on the character itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some basic attacks for right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this character's number two, which is an AoE. Boom, boom. Very nice. And as you guys can see, the animations are really, really just kind of like in your face and out there. And wait until you see some of these ultimates. They're really going to kind of blow your mind a bit. Um, this character right here, this is Freya, my healer. Um, I can actually do two things with this ability. I can either attack with it or I can target myself and heal myself with it. So really creative way, um, giving a character a heal without kind of taking away one of their skill slots, which I definitely appreciate. So we're going to go ahead and beat up on these bootleg Voltron characters for a little bit here. 
go ahead and use my number one to finish you off. And now I have nine out of 16 soul gems. So now I can start doing some pretty crazy abilities. Starting off with the ultimate. Wait until you see this. Falling star, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this Meteo ability right here. Watch this. Look at this guy up here smiling. <laughs> Look like he enjoyed dying in that explosion way too much. So very cool. I love the combat in this game. And like I said, I do really enjoy a game that kind of allows me to play a little bit of auto gameplay and, you know, not necessarily neglecting the manual gameplay as well, along with some really good quality of life features such as auto repeat. So you can kind of drain out your stamina for for the day as well. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that here in a little bit. Now back to combat, um, as you guys can see, you can see the icons of each one of my individual characters right here. This basically lets me know exactly which one of my characters are going to be attacked next. And it really allows you to kind of plan your strategy a bit better. So um, I can see right here that my healer is gonna be attacked twice and my main tank's only gonna be attacked once. So I can kind of plan my strategy accordingly. Um, when you see the uh, when you see a character that's lit up red like that, that basically means they're taunting, so I have to fight that one. So that is that. Let's show you some more stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and do our number one to this taunter because I have no choice. Once again, same, same. Going to build up some soul gems here and show you some different abilities. I don't want to actually show you any of my abilities on my main tank because she's just a rare, so it's not super uh, involved. I'm going to go ahead and do Freya's ultimate right here. And I love the fact that it shows you the name of it and it shows you exactly what it does right under that, just in case you forget, you know. <laughs> so this is going to be an AoE heal along with a little thing called soul, which allows me to basically just shrug off the next attack that I take. Um, I love this ability with King Rim. Like I said, one of my favorite characters when it comes from a, to an a animation standpoint, look at this. Very cool. <laughs> I like that, I like it. So yeah, dig combat, dig characters, dig the background. So far, so good, Alune. <laughs> Not bad. I keep on like clicking on the bottom part. I need to click on the actual like model itself. There we go. AoE damage there. I love the fact that the bombs like come at the screen as well. Very cool. Gonna go ahead and heal King Rim down there at the back. Go ahead and start doing some damage here. I wanna show you some more ultimates here. So here's King Rim's ultimate, one of my favorite ultimates in the game thus far. Look at this. Now this character actually requires a little bit of setup, so he's not, or he or she, I can't, can't tell for sure, um, does not, is not a very good character to play on auto, because um, basically if I mark a character for death, I can basically instant kill him, instant kill the enemy with that ultimate right there. Bootleg Princess Mononoke's ultimate right here, AoE physical damage along with bleeding, does more damage when the character is below 50%. A lot of, it's really easy, in my opinion, to understand your characters, their kits, their passives, when the game basically pushes you to play manual gameplay without forcing it and without kind of putting that in your own hands. Like I said, you can, you can basically play manual gameplay in any hero collector that you want, that's up to you. But I feel like you learn more when the game kind of gradually says, hey, the game is getting a little bit harder. You might want to start paying attention to your abilities. You might want to start equipping your characters, exact, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the flow here in the world of Alune. So got our gear. Come on out here. And like I said, the game does have some pretty decent quality of life features as well. So if I want to go back in that stage, if I want to repeat battle, I can repeat battle to basically drain out my stamina. And I can also end the battle when this basically there's like a bonus stage that spawns every now and then. And I can kind of uh, end it with that. I can end it where I get defeated or I can end it where one of my characters hit max level. So really good quality of life. You don't have to pay anything extra for that. And it's infinite. So as long as you have the stamina, you can auto repeat. So very nice. So uh, that is that. Let's go back over here to the home screen, ladies and gentlemen. Go over here to challenge mode, which houses all of the other gameplay features in the game. Um, starting off with the daily resource grind. So as you guys can see, and you guys have seen this before, every single day there's a different type of resource grind. Tank, DPS, heals, support, and debuffer. Um, these materials are required to evolve your characters from two to three to four to five stars, etc., etc. So that's how that works. Moving on to boss battle, which I'm going to show you in a second. We're going to show you that last. Um, there's a thing called Dimensional Rift, which I've already done for the day. Um, but this is like a horde mode with buffs. So every 10 enemies you kill in this mode, you get to select a buff like attack up, crit up, uh, attack speed, cooldown reduction, etc., etc., to help you for the next battles. And basically, you try to kill as many enemies as you can while buffing your team to try to go as far as you possibly can to get rewards. And as you guys can see, this is season-based. You can only do this 
once per day. And speaking of doing things once per day, I kind of like this game when it comes to the daily resource grind, which is here. The dimensional rift is here. Both of these modes you can only do one time. A lot of other hero collectors make you kind of repeat the same things three, four, and five times. Why? Why not just give me the equivalent of those rewards in one stage and allow me to kind of get on with my day? That kind of makes the dailies a little bit quicker and easier to go through. So both of these stages right here can only be done once. Um, this right here is your PVP. Once again, I'll kind of, I think I will show you this right now. So let's go ahead and refresh this because some of these enemies are a lot stronger than they need to be. We're going to go for a slightly challenging one here. Now, this is another instance right off the bat. You definitely want to play on manual. Like I said before, a lot of the characters that I've seen thus far have set up required, which require you to basically do bleed first or to do a mark for death buff or for, uh, things like that. They require a degree of setup that the autoplay is just not going to be able to do for you. So when it comes to PvP, this is going to be a manual man or woman's game right there. So let's go ahead and beat up this tank right here. Now, there are different formations that you can set up as well. As you guys can see, this guy is doing the charge formation, which is one tank. Everybody else in the back is basically DPS. I have two tanks, sort of. <laughs> then I have three DPS in the back. So let's see if we can kill his tank as fast as possible. I'm actually going to go ahead and ult right now. Now, if they're, if they're burning, I actually do more damage, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. We're going to go ahead and bring down the Meteo. Shout out to Final Fantasy. Looking good. I might be able to kind of wipe out a lot. No, it didn't wipe out anyone. Tank is still taunting me in my face. Um, I need a heal. I don't think that's really going to help my little... My tank is so terrible. Like, my tank is my weakest link at the moment. Um, so, oh, I don't have to taunt down. I made a mistake there. I need to start switching my, my targets here. Oh, no! <laughs> don't do this back to me. Oh, boy. Hopefully. Oh, tank's down, but we're still okay. Okay, okay. We're good. Don't worry. Have some faith in FG. All right, he's taunting again. We're, we'll be able to finally finish off the tank there. Um, let's go ahead and go for some of these DPS characters here, try to finish them off. Freya, my girl, AoE, heal, soul, eternal blessing. Also, you can do times four speed on these as well to kind of speed them up a little bit if you choose to. Um, let's go for... I'm actually... Uh, so right here, I can kind of see the turn order. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. You've already done your ultimate, though. I don't think you've done your ultimate. So I'm going to go ahead and do this ability right here, which will restrain this character from doing an attack, which is, well, or, or kill them, or kill them. <laughs> I think we're actually in good shape now. I think we're in good shape. I'm going to auto this one out. Because I don't think they'll be able to come back now, obviously. There we go. So that's PvP. Pretty straightforward. Very nice. Come back out here. And of course, with your PvP currency, you can go inside the shop and buy things. Um, you can buy stamina, you can buy these light chests, which have these Alune lights, which we'll kind of talk about in the, a later video, Enhanced Stone to enhance your gear. And you also have this character that you can kind of acquire as well. So I'm going to be trying to build him. I'm going to be trying to build my way up to getting that character. And as you guys can see, you beat your three opponents, you go to the next line of heroes, and you just try to go up the ladder. Pretty straightforward. So that is PvP. Um, alliance in the game as well. I just now joined an alliance. So I don't want to really talk about alliance boss just yet. Um, we'll save that for another video. But of course, sounds like it's just going to be like a guild boss like you normally expect. Um, there are three different gameplay modes that are on the way as well. Alliance battle, world boss, and then Mobius dungeon as well. So as you're going through the campaign story, you're going to unlock these different boss encounters. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you one of these now. Each one of these boss encounters, as you guys can see, has 10 degrees of difficulty. <laughs> so you're going to be fighting these bosses for a long time. And it looks like it's going to be really easy for them to add new bosses um, going forward. So let's go ahead and do this boss right here. And I'll show you the whole intro. Look at this. Very cool stage. So when you fight them in the campaign, they have different mechanics than they do in the in the world or in the boss mode. So they're actually a little bit more intricate and a little bit more difficult when you fight them in this mode. Um, so let's go ahead and run through this, and I'll show you a little bit of combat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna be doing our basic attacks for right now. Like I said, my tank is definitely my weakest link here. You can see the lock on target right here. The boss is gonna be hitting my tank, so I'm not too worried. Gonna go ahead and do this number two ability on the boss. Cool thing about King Rim here is that once he's hit someone three times, 
Um, they're basically marked for death, which is really cool. Look at this, restrained for two turns. So the boss can't do anything for two turns. I like a game that allows me to do debuffs to bosses. So many games kind of cheese out and say, oh, it's a boss, you can't do it, sorry. Not, not here in this game. Love that ability. Love it, love it, love it. I wish I wouldn't have times two speeded it. <laughs> All right. We just hit this boss's like enrage. So now he's going to just switch up on us, going nine tails on us. That is okay. So far, I'm actually doing really good. I'm going to go ahead and shield up because the boss is about to hit my King Rim, who is very squishy. Once again, I'm going to try to restrain you once again. Let's see if we can get it. Are we going to get the restrain? Got the restrain again. Don't have to worry about any damage whatsoever. Going to go ahead and get my crit up. Do a little damage here. I like the fact that the game actually shows percentage of health. You're probably wondering why am I bringing that up? Because I have an ability that does more damage when the boss is below 50% HP. So many hero collectors have those type of abilities, but they don't actually show the percentage uh, of the bosses or the enemies that you fight, which makes no sense to me. Look at that. Just getting just restrained nonstop. What a cool character. Now the character splits up, or the boss splits up. As you guys can see, 35% on each one of these bosses here. You have a little shield here, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my Princess Mononoke attack. Physical damage, all enemies, plus bleeding. Now, I don't know this to be for sure, but every single time I've played an RPG, in my life of playing RPGs, ladies and gentlemen, when you see something like this, you wanna kind of kill them at the same time. I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, don't know. Don't quote me on any of that at the moment. We'll put it back on times four speed for the ultimates to kind of blow through them. Um, let's go for. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. I don't know why I did that. I should have did my restraint ability, but whatever. Um, I still have crit up, so I'm just gonna keep on balancing this out. Once again, don't know if this is a thing that you need to do on this boss encounter. I'm just doing it anyway. Time for... Ouch. All right, we need to... No! <laughs> what a scrub, FG. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to do this instead. Put up the barrier. Can we get some more restraints on this dude here? Yes, we did. Doing pretty good, kind of bringing them down 10 and 15% here. Do, do, do. I think I can hit you now, yes I can. Uh, we need to do our ultimate here. I just lost my biggest DPS unit, so not, not great, not great. Do, do, do. I wonder, can I just kill you? I probably can. It won't instant kill, but it'll do more damage. Down to 4%. Down to 10. I just want to kill them, you know, just kind of close to each other, you know? Just just a little bit, within a, within a turn or two. This restrain is so OP on bosses. Such a good ability. If you're looking for a debuffer, ladies and gentlemen, that, 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 that might be it for you. I'm actually going to just do... Check this out. There's another feature. You can do swap turn. So I'm going to swap turn with my boy Kang here. Doo -doo -doo. I don't lose the turn. I just swap it. <laughs> so if you want to do some different type of strategy, if you want to get a heal a little bit earlier, you can absolutely do that with no problem whatsoever. You can only do it once, though, for your, for your turn. And I guess we'll do your ultimate now, finally. Boom. GG. Once again, I don't know if I have to do it that way. I kind of feel like since he doesn't fall down and die, he's going to get back up if I don't kill them at the same time or something. Or similar times. Close. Close times. Whatever. <laughs> and there you go. That is a boss encounter. And th these boss encounters give you different types of gear. And of course, that you can use to upgrade and equip on your characters. Speaking of characters, let's go and do that. So pretty straightforward. So here are your characters right here. You have a gear set. Um, as you guys can see, weapon, helmet, offhand boots, you have different type of accessories. There are gear sets as well. So if you have two or four of the same type of gear set, you can get buffs. Um, skills, as you guys can see, it'll show you what type of skills you have. You can also enhance those skills using enhance feature right here. Um, there are skill books that drop in the game via pages. You collect a bunch of pages, you combine those pages to make a book, and you can use those skill books to increase the skill power of your skills. 
You also have skill gems, ladies and gentlemen. So as you guys can see, there are different color types that correspond to different skill types. So for example, this is G for green. <laughs> so right here, this increases the healing skill effects by 1%. So I can basically um, take this skill gem out, replace it with a three-star skill gem. I lose the two-star skill gem, however, but that'll give me 1.5% heal on this ability right here. And as you guys can see, all of these have different ones. So orange, violet, blue, etc., etc. You can also upgrade by using some um, characters that you're not using to upgrade your level, or you can just grind them out using auto repeat. Um, there are costumes in this game. The costumes say no effects for right now, so no, none of the costumes in the game have any type of stats whatsoever. That doesn't mean that it won't happen in the future. Um, and like I, we've, we've talked about this plenty of times before, I'm actually okay with costumes having skill stats as long as people can buy them with the in-game currency, then who cares? As long as they're not $20 only to get, this, to get the skill ups, as long as you can use the gems, I'm okay with it. But that remains to be seen because none of that is in the game at the moment. So that, my friends, is that. We covered quite a bit, ladies and gentlemen. We talked about the characters in question, which got the uh, stamp of approval. Combat looks great, graphics look great. Lots of variety in the combat modes here as well. Um, so, so far, Aloon's off to a pretty great start, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and start this, or end this video off as we always do. Ladies and gentlemen, with some summoning, we'll do a warm-up summon first but and foremost. Now, when you play this game, when you first begin, you're going to get a 10 plus 1 summoning ticket. You're going to get that within three minutes of playing the game. As soon as you beat stage 1-2, you're going to get that 10 plus 1 ticket. This is my advice. Keep on re-rolling and re-rolling and re-rolling until that 10 plus 1 ticket gives you at least one legendary character. Now, the reason why you want to do that is because that 10 plus 1 ticket is going to get you a, a nat 5 if you can get a legendary out of it. Now, there is a 30 time reselector ticket in this game. So you can you can basically resummon 30 times over and over and over again until you get something you want. You can get legendaries out of that 30 time reselector. However, the legendary that you get out of that reselector will not be a nat five. It'll come at a three star, which means you have to upgrade it. Now, that's not the worst thing in the world, but you definitely want to get a nat five legendary the easiest way you possibly can. And that is via getting that. 10 plus one ticket on stage one, two, right off the bat. If you don't get it, delete your account, start over. It'll take you three minutes per reroll. Very easy. Knock it out. Do you. All right. Man, this is a long video. I'm starting to lose my voice, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do some premium summons, however. All right. Let's see what we got. No legendaries here. Got bootleg Anubis. His name is whatever. <laughs> Oh, nice. Finally, a good tank. I've been really wanting a new tank, so I'm going to put O in my lineup immediately. And he looks cool, too, so very cool. And we also have another healer here, Un. But I'm, I'm pretty good when it comes to healers, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's do another summon here. Once again, got two, three epics this time around. Another bootleg Anubis. Come on. I'm not going back to Smite anytime soon. Maybe Smite the Hero Collector, but it don't look too good. Another healer. I don't really need healers right now. There's, there is nothing in me that wants to swap out my healer. What is this? A new debuffer? Okay. <laughs> and then... Oh, that was my last one. Ah. All right. We still got one more multi-summon. And we got only one epic out of this one. That's unfortunate. But I'm very happy to finally get a new tank. And yeah, another debuffer. There you go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. Check out what I do here. Oh, yeah. If you want to see what Evolve looks like, this is the materials that I was talking about earlier. All it takes is this generic one plus this tank one, 33,000 gold, hit Evolve. You go to five star and you don't start over from level one. Thank you. You stay at level 40 and you just keep on going up. Very, very nice. But I'm gonna unequip all this gear off of you. See you later. It's time for my new tank life, ladies and gentlemen. Finally got a cool looking tank. Yeah. Get in there, buddy. Upgrade, auto select, get him up to a decent level. Finally. Looks good. Hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What the? <laughs> all right, guys, I am done. Once, oh, I, I bugged the game. I bugged the game, ladies and gentlemen. Game's bugged. 
What a way to end the video, Aloon! Once again! My name is FG3000, or in this game, my name is FG Laws. <laughs> so if you want to look me up, that's where you'll find me. Beware of all the fake FGs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out. See you guys next video. Later.